Time for seven first alert weather. Some of the central mountain areas have continued to look a little dark and stormy throughout the afternoon hours. Today we heard a couple rumbles of thunder from the Haley area as a few strikes of lightning moved through a few hours ago now, but you can still see some of that showery activity across those central mountains. Overall, if we look at the whole state of Idaho, things looking on the calm side. However, if we switch to just a little bit more of an eastern view, you can see light showers to the south of McCall and some lighter moisture moving in, getting close to Ontario now. However, it doesn't look like too much is making it all the way to the ground just yet, but you can see some of that rain trying to make it closer to the ground. Even with the cloudy conditions in some areas, we've still had some mild temperatures and valleys. We've had beautiful sunshine and blue skies for much of the day. We're in the low Lower 60s for those highs in the Magic Valley and 50s for the mountains. Right now in Boise, 65. You can see a little bit of the breeze going on, even windy at times, but looking to be a little bit calm just at this moment. But those winds will be sticking around, so don't uh, expect it to stay that way. As we look to tomorrow, those winds will be lessening for many areas across the valleys. Gusts up to 20 miles an hour for Boise and Ontario. In the mountains, we'll be seeing more of those widely scattered showers. For McCall, it's mainly in the overnight hours. And then for Twin Falls, we're still going to be seeing windy conditions, but less than what we're seeing today. And then as we look forward to rounding out the weekend as well and into the start of the new work week, we're expecting a cooling trend to be sticking around. It'll stay on the cooler side right now, expected all the way through Wednesday. And here's why. We have a low pressure center that will be continuing to move out of the area. We get swiped with some colder air through Tuesday, and then depending on how fast this colder air moves to the east, will dictate our midweek temperatures into next week and how fast the high pressure ridge continues to build back in. But you can see uh, for the moisture, at least, as we're still under the low pressure, a little bit limited as some of that energy moves to the east, but we still have some light shower ex possibilities for the early morning hours. So maybe waking up to a dusting of snow in some of those mountain areas. Then Monday is our next concentrated round of moisture as a quick hitting cold front will be moving through the area. It's, you can see pretty dry expectedly for Treasure Valley spots, but the snow levels will be dropping to about 3,500 feet, which means we could see some of the snow accumulate in the foothills. And then we have another chance of scattered showers on Tuesday as well. But mainly for tomorrow, I think for the Magic Valley areas, the winds will be what's most noticeable once again. Lighter moisture in those mountain areas than what we're seeing today. So we're getting away from that thunderstorm and shower potential more so and then drier for valley locations and again lighter winds are expected and you can see the mid 60s is the expectation for the high but then we drop down 10 degrees by Monday as that cold front moves through so winds will be picking back up we get into the 50s for a good part of next week before we warm back up after that so Carolyn I think tomorrow oh. good idea to soak in the outdoor activities that you've been trying to do. Love it. I saw on Tuesday, I mean, the low is like 34. Yeah, chilly. We're getting closer Ooh. to that frosty possibility again. Okay.